Hello and welcome to this latest edition of our Top Tips for SMEs series with me, Philip King and Blue Chain. I'm delighted to introduce Ian Preston, who helps businesses deliver stunning sales performance, particularly through the use of LinkedIn. Ian, we're looking forward to hearing from you. Please tell us a bit more about you and how you help businesses and also give us your three top tips. Certainly. So just a brief bit of background. I was in the corporate world for 30 odd years, climbed the greasy pole from sales rep, sales manager, to sales director, got made redundant uh, twice and then set up my own business in 2014. Um, initially to do sales training. Um, that's a passion of mine. I've been in the sales world for many years and I've been training salespeople for over 30 years. So that seemed a good starting place. And then I quickly learned how to use LinkedIn more effectively as a marketing resource, as opposed to a place where people don't perceive it and hopefully recruiter will find them. So, so for the last eight years or so, I've spent a lot of my time um, you, showing people how to use LinkedIn more, more effectively as a marketing resource and then teaching people how to sell. Um, and so that's what I do. I, I, and as my coaching skills have developed, um, I now work with people around not only sales and marketing, but time management, vision, strategy, and that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Good. So tell us your three top tips, please. My three top tips are firstly around making your profile stand out from the crowd. Um, and we're going to look in, in, in a short while around how important the headline is. The headline is the bit at the top underneath your name. It shouldn't just be um, your job title and the company you work for because you want it to stand out. So in other words, uh, mine says, as you will see in a moment, mine says helping businesses generate more hot leads and sales. So if, and again, we're going to look at how to use the search function in a short while. So if you were searching for a LinkedIn trainer, for example, you will see 10 or 12 people on the page. And if you just get down the page and it says LinkedIn trainer, LinkedIn trainer, LinkedIn trainer, and you come to one that says helping business generate more hot leads and sales, LinkedIn trainer, LinkedIn trainer, who you're more likely to click on first. Uh, and if you need further evidence of that, how many how many emails a day do you delete on the subject title alone? So we're going to look at the importance of, of the headline of pulling people into your page as opposed to your competitors. We're also then going to look about the about section, used to be called the summary, now called the about section, where you can put the meat on the bones of what it says in the headline. And again, the, people, the, the, the problem that people have here, the mistake they make is they tell people what they do. We need to remember all the time that LinkedIn is a marketing resource and nobody gives two hoots what you do. They care passionately how we can help them. Can we save them money? Can we make them money? Can we save them more time? Can we get them more orders? So again, your out, uh, your about section needs to be full of what I call with and what's in it for me, for the reader. Um, so we'll certainly look at that. Um, so headline and about section is, is tip one. Um, tip two is about how to find, connect and engage with your ideal prospects. So we'll be looking at the search function, particularly how to use it to find those important people that, that, that will benefit you and your business. And then the third one is all around the use of posts and articles to be seen to be a thought leader in your marketplace, to be educational. Don't keep selling all the time. It's a game and make the stake that people make on LinkedIn. They try and sell to people all the time. And posts and articles are important in the way that it keeps your name in the frame, as we'll look at shortly. Um, so when people think of you or what need what you provide, they think of you first. Thank you, Ian. There are some great tips there. Um, and I can't wait to hear more when we delve into those tips in more detail. Don't forget to head over to bluechain.com where you'll be able to see the discussion, which goes into much more detail around what Ian's been talking about. 